If you have a function like this, how do you find the vertex? Notice that this is already in the vertex form. Vertex form is y equals to a times x minus h squared plus k. So h, if you compare these two, h is equal to 1. And then k is equal to 4. That means the vertex is at 1 comma 4. Because uh, if you have the vertex form, the vertex is at h comma k. What about the intercepts? To get the x-intercept, you need to set y as 0. So we put, uh, well, there's no y here, but you put y equals to this. So you put y as 0. 0 equals to negative x minus 1 squared plus 4. Move this to the other side. You get x minus 1 squared equals to positive 4. And then when you take away the square, it's very important that not only you take the square root both sides, but you always need this plus minus. I, I was walking around and found somebody that didn't have the plus minus. That will make the result invalid. You're, you're only going to get one solution if you do that. So don't, always remember, when you take away the square, put plus minus, right? And then you have x minus 1 equals to plus minus 2. x is equal to 1 plus minus 2. So that gives you 1 plus 2, which is 3. 1 minus 2, which is negative 1. Okay, so those are the x-intercepts. What about the y-intercept? Y-intercept is easy. You just plug in x equal to 0. And so y is equal to negative 0 minus 1 squared plus 4. So it's negative, negative 1 squared plus 4. Negative 1 squared is positive 1. Negative 1 plus 4 is positive 3. So we found out that the intercepts are 3 comma 0, negative 1 comma 0. These are the x-intercepts. And for y, if you plug in 0, you get positive 3. OK. Once you know the intercepts and the vertex, then it's e really easy to draw the graph. You just have to put them on the graph and then just connect them. So you have 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. Here's 1, 4, 1, 4. And then 3, 0, uh, 1, 2, 3. And then 0, come, uh, negative 1, 0, so that's negative 1. And then uh, there's the y-intercept, which is 3. So if you connect them, you get this graph. Okay. And then uh, I want to say just a little bit more. When you have the vertex, uh, that actually tells you the highest point of the graph or the maximum value of the function. So uh, you can say this 4 here is the max value of f of x. Sometimes it's also called the turning point. Because that's where the graph turns.